Welcome to episode 17, season 2 of Chris Cast. My name's Chris Abraham, and today we're going to talk about the benefits of indoor uh, cycling versus outdoor cycling versus uh, fixie cycling and uh, freewheel versus constant pedaling and all that fun stuff. It'll be short, it's just a little brain dump, uh, and I'll be back to you right after this message. Welcome back to Chris Cass Season 2 Episode uh, 16, 17, 18... I just said it a second ago. I think maybe you guys are amused by my bad brain. Uh, 17. 17. Yeah, wow. Anyway, uh, it's about... I, I have been going to spin class, and I have a Kaiser M3 regular, not an I... And I have had fixie bikes in the past, and I have had bicycles since I was in my teens, uh, and all of them had free wheels. And the biggest difference between my spin class or my indoor cycle and the uh, the outdoor bike, uh, which is amazing because you're outside and you're exploring and you're exercising, and you're getting sun, and you're being social, and you're recreating, and you're not just being a uh, a piston. However, the real thing that I've noticed about my method of cycling is that I spend a lot of time in freewheel. I'm like, um, I'm not like a hummingbird with constantly flapping my, uh, my wings, I'm more like uh, a seabird that flap, flap, flaps, and then glides, flap, 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 and glides. Or maybe instead of a seabird, I'll say I'm more like a kestrel, or I'm more like the red hawks that uh, hang out outside my windows looking for mice, rats, and squirrels to eat. So uh, on my surly steamroller, which started out as a single speed and is now a three speed with an internal hub. Um, I, I pedal, 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 pedal. And then I free wheel. I use the free wheel and just click, 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 until I, you know, hit a hill or until I need to speed up or until I need to accelerate. I'm spending a lot of time in free will mode, just coasting. But with the, with the fixie bike, you can never stop pedaling. And because spin bikes do not have a free wheel, you need to keep pedaling in order to keep moving. Um, and so there's a real value in that. You do have a sustained output that isn't it's like a bee or uh or a um a beautiful little uh small little bird uh like a hummingbird that constantly needs to beat its wings in order to stay aloft um you can you can vary your revolutions per minute you can definitely vary uh the amount of resistance you have on your pedals um, but the only thing that you have that's close to free, uh, uh, you know, just free coasting is if you remove all resistance from the pedal, from the, from the, um, free wheel. And at that point you still have to madly pedal your feet. So there's no respite from the pedaling. And so if you are trying to get your fitness levels up to where you feel like you would be competitive in a in a in a hundred miler or a hundred k or a fifty k or even a competition event. 
and you don't have access to a to a track bike a fixie uh you might want to consider putting in uh, some of your miles on a bike that does not free wheel that does not coast um if you have if you don't have a spin bike and if you have your uh bike set to work with rollers or if you have some sort of of machine uh to connect your bike uh you just need to make sure that it it um uh, i recommend i recommend a a proper spin bike because the spin bike uh it's unlike a a a track bike or a fixie you won't uh kill yourself in traffic by not being able to speed up fast enough not being able to slow down fast enough of course you would be using a at least a front brake uh but um with uh with a spin bike like the Kaiser or like the Schwinn AC uh carbon blue blue carbon or whatever or with just any any I think spin bike that you can get off of Amazon for just a couple few hundred dollars. I don't believe any of them have coasting. So you can really benefit in the fact that if you want to do, if you want to have any productive riding, you need to constantly be inputting uh, force through pedaling, whether it's in the seat or whether it's out of the seat. And there are real benefits with that. Another benefit that I have never been able to enjoy especially uh when and if if and when you have look or spd pedals on your spin bike is a benefit of running a a uh, fixie my single speed bike has a uh white industries freewheel red red freewheel uh that clicks like a mother but one of the benefits of having a fixie or a spin bike is that because it never stops spinning even if you take your force off the pedals, there are uh, benefits of needing to always uh, not only push down like one would do a child's bike, you know, pedal, 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 but it, uh, it, it helps improve your circular spin, your cadence. It helps you use other muscles besides uh, your calves and your quads. It helps you use things like your hamstrings and other supportive uh, muscles uh, and use your glutes and so forth because you're, you're, you're needing to input uh, force not only in the downstroke but on the upstroke as well. In a perfect world, whether it's spin or fixie or track or Kaiser M3, the benefit of being locked into your into your pedals is that you have the benefit of uh of muscular force both in the um in the downstroke in the upstroke and top and bottom strokes so all along the uh all along the circular movement of your pedal so that's a benefit i know people who uh have their 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 road bikes their hybrid bikes, their city bikes, their fixies, their, their, um, uh, uh, their single speeds like mine. And they're like, well, why would I want to take a spin class or why would I want a stationary bike in my, in my home? And the benefit there is that that bike, that spin bike, that stationary bike is an ergonomic tool. It's an ergometer. Uh, it is used to, um, to beat yourself up on. It's used to, uh, generate, generate wattage, to generate power, to, to, uh, to get your heart rate up, to make it sustainable, to be able to keep your heart rate up at, uh, you know, 105, 110, 115, 120 in a very reproducible way, as opposed to needing to stop for stoplights or needing to coast or needing to go downhill you can constantly grind your entire 45 minutes or an hour, constantly pedal with a amount of resistance and force against you. And that has uh, extreme benefits for the heart in terms of its development, strengthening, and, um, and, and ability to handle load over a period of time. 
Um, anyway, that's all I have today. Thank you very much. Listen to the musical interlude, and I'll be right back to end the episode. Mahalo Nui Loa. <laughs> I hope that was useful, guys. This is uh, episode Bloody Well Can't Remember, episode 17, season 2. Uh, it's the benefits of a spin bike or an uh, um, indoor stationary bike over a, an outdoor bike. I don't know what I'm going to label this. And I don't know why I felt like I needed to talk so quickly. So if I'm talking too quickly, it's because I want to get through these things. If I'm speaking too quickly, please remind me to slow down. Someone's doing some sort of construction in the apartments near me or outdoors or indoors or next door neighbor or all the apartments around me. Uh, Maybe it's... uh, uh, maybe it's trolls. Maybe it's um, dwarves. Maybe it's dwarves uh, with their little with their little pickaxes trying to get me. Anyway, thank you so much. You can reach me at Chris Abraham on Twitter, at Chris Abraham on Instagram. You can email me at chris at abraham dot su. You can call me at plus one two zero two three five two five zero five one, which is also a um, Como D. Also, my WhatsApp number, but it's also my SMS number. It's my mobile. Um, you can find me at youtube.com slash Chris Abraham, LinkedIn.com slash in slash Chris Abraham, Facebook.com slash Chris Abraham. And that might be it. My HQ, ChrisAbraham.com. And thank you very much for visiting. I hope I entertained. Oh, thank you.